Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an overlay in Figma. So if that's what you're into, let's check it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have something that I want to overlay. Okay, so this is what I'd like to overlay. I've got a cell phone screen here and then I've got this calendar and I'd like to overlay this calendar on to the screen once something is selected or tapped. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to use this icon here. It's the little notification bell. So if you double click on it, you'll see that it's selected individually. Okay. Once it's selected individually, you will see on the right hand side, you have design and you have prototype. Now you want to go into prototype and you want to see as you hover your cursor over this, you'll see that there is a plus icon. Okay. So let's click on the plus icon and we're going to drag it over to our overlay. You'll see now that it has selected and attached to our overlay and you'll have this over here pop up. So there's a few things that you can do. You can change how it's actually going to interact. So what we want is we want to navigate to. You can choose change to or you can set a bunch of different variations. But what we want to do is navigate to. You can also select what exactly it is going to navigate to, which is this item here. And you can also choose what it's going to look like. So will it be instant? Will it dissolve? Will it smartly animate? That's a feature. And then you can also choose whether to move in and out, slide, push, whatever the case may be. I'm going to use push. And you can also choose the direction that it's going to push from. So right now it's going to push in from the left to the right. You can also do it, of course, whichever other way you would like. And then we have an ease out. Okay. And then we can animate matching layers, which means when it is going back out, it's going to do exactly the same on the out as it does in. We can now just go out of here. And this is now set. Now, all the properties that you set, you can go and test and see if it works, right? And once you've actually looked at what it looks like and how it interacts, you can go back into the properties. You can just click on that line again and you'll see it pop up here. If it doesn't pop up here, you can actually go up to the top right hand side and you can see all of the properties here. Okay, so you can actually go in here and you can see how it actually looks. Now from here, you're going to go and click on this one here, the main screen, and we are going to click on flow starting point. This is where it's going to begin. Now let's go ahead and test this. So here it is. And what we need to do now is click on this icon of the bell notification and see if it works. And there you go. You can see that's what it looks like. And once you jump back in here, you can change those properties. As we mentioned earlier on, you can change how it slides in and what it looks like, how quickly it slides in and from what direction it comes in. And you can customize it to your liking.